What's up everybody? Got a few little simple radicals here that we're going to simplify. So we got square root of 75. We got to look for a perfect square in 75. Well, we know we can write that as 25 times 3. 25 is a perfect square. So that's square root of 25 times square root of 3. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root 3 is not a perfect square, so it's going to stay. So we get 5 square roots of 3. Let's look at the next one. We got square root of 25, x cubed, y to the fourth. Well, 25 is a perfect square root. x cubed is not, but it does have a perfect square in it because, see, that's understood to be a 2 there. 2 does not divide into 3 evenly. And so we can write x cubed as x squared times x to the first or just x. You don't have to put the 1. And then 2 does divide into 4 evenly for the y to the 4th, so we leave that as y to the 4th. So our answer, square root of 25 is 5. 2 goes into 2. Now for the x squared, 2 goes into 2 one time, so that's x. Uh, x to the 1st, that's not a perfect square. It's going to stay under the radical. And then for the y to the 4th, 2 goes into 4 2 times, so that's y squared. And the x... This x right here has to stay underneath, and so there's your answer. Now, let's look at this one. We've got the cube root. Same thing. We're just looking for perfect cubes instead of perfect squares. So, here we can write the cube root. Does 24 have a perfect cube? Of course it does. 8 times 3. 8 a perfect cube. Now, x cubed, 3 divides into 3 evenly, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, 3 does not go into 5 evenly, but y to the fifth does have a perfect cube. We can write y to the fifth as, let me try writing that again, y cubed times y squared. So now we've got the cube root of eight is two. Uh, three is not a perfect cube, so it's gonna stay. Now for the x cubed, three goes into three one time, so that's x to the first. y cubed, three goes into three one time, so that's gonna be y, and then 3 does not go into 2 evenly, and so we are going to leave that y squared underneath, and so now that's going to leave us the cube root of 3 y squared, and so there's our answer. Hope this helped. Later.